What's going on, y'all? You already know this is your boy Mo from Mo's Auto Clinic, where we do the best repair for very low prices for you guys. So we have a 2007 ML 350 Mercedes Benz, as you see. Um, this customer complained that um, when they run the car for a while, they start seeing smoke coming out the engine. They'll come right out of here. So, you know, usually with a problem and an engine like this, I usually wash them down and put dye in the system and um, let the car run up on the lift and see what the dye come out of. Um, but this was so obvious. Um, so somebody tried to repair it. As you see, somebody already tried to work and do a job here. And that's a really, 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 really garbage repair. That's really, really garbage. That's not how Mercedes-Benz wants you to do it. And I don't even work for Mercedes-Benz. But I know for a fact it don't. So somebody tried to repair it. And this breather box back here. It seems like either it got oil from the oil, from the valve cover gasket or, but it seems like somebody tried to repair that as well and it got silicone on it. Guys, I keep saying in all my videos since I've been working on cars, when you use silicone, you use silicone lightly. Silicone on gaskets don't work. So if you think you got a gasket and you're gonna put silicone on it, it doesn't work. Um, if you put too much silicone, it does not work. It doesn't mean that you really, really gonna have a secure, secure uh, sealant. Guys, when you use silicone, you put silicone lightly. So in a second here, when I start ripping this thing apart, I will show you guys how to put silicone. So we're back, we took out the valve gasket, at least the first one. Um, like I said, it's been repaired before. And this guy is like really, really blowing me. All the silicone. This guy put a whole bottle of silicone. Everywhere you look is silicone on this thing. This is how you make somebody else's job very, very difficult. So yeah, let me fix some, um, like we always do here. Let me fix some. Um, his mess up and see where um what else he messed up back here. Um anyway, we be back. We finally finished with the cleaning. I'm pretty happy with that. That's as much as I could do. Because you cannot scratch this cylinder head up and you cannot scratch and groove the valve cover. So this is how we clean up in here, y'all. This is our type of work. So this is how you clean a valve cover gasket. Okay, this thing, this thing for it to seal properly, it has to be completely dry and it has to be completely cleaned with brake clean or alcohol. Anything that will get the grease off is not going to seal if you have grease on it. This is the new crankcase breather. You see the difference? The gasket is built in. You cannot put silicone on gaskets. It slides out just like this. You just leave it be. You leave it like this. You tighten it to the torque specs and you leave it like that. You don't put silicone. So we in the process of putting the silicone, y'all. There's a couple things I need to put back before I put this, apply the silicone because I only have 10 to 15 minutes for it to completely dry. So we'll be back. And this is how you do a proper sealing on this type of cylinder head or valve cover you got to put light silicone y'all light silicone and if you want insurance here's your insurance very very light you just lighten up that way if you have air bubble or if you have something that your securement but you still put it all light so give me a second and i'm gonna put it in together and this is how you seal it without making a mess you see the slight sealant only in the corners that you put right in that corner. You make sure you put a lot of silicone because that's where it attempts to leak at from the timing. So you put a lot of silicone on each on these corners where you see the timing at. But this is how. This is how. Look at I'm trying to get you a good shot. Look at that. Look at that silicone slightly, not like where he had 
all that garbage he had like this. So I'll give you another video, guys, when it's finished. And this is how you put a Mercedes Benz back together, fully understanding that your job is done correctly and you shouldn't have no problems. So I gotta wait for the um the silicone to cure because this is a Mercedes-Benz silicone. This is not a RTV high temp silicone like he put on. This is actually Mercedes-Benz silicone. Remember, this is a Mercedes. So parts are completely different. Repairs are completely different than when you work on Honda or Toyota or Ford. This is completely, completely different. For example, this could easily crack instantly on you while you're doing a job or you over tighten it. Or, so you gotta understand the product that you're working on before you start working on it. And if you don't, it's okay. Do a little bit of history, do a little bit of reading, do a little bit of asking before you touch the customer car. So anyway, y'all, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. I'm here for your questions. I'm here for your comment. I'm here for your input. I don't get mad at inputs. Any input is good. Bad or good is still good to me.